Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So for those of you who've been following the coverage of the Mike Glover situation here on this channel, this is going to be the final update I put out um, on this case. And it'll make sense by the end of the video of why that is. All right, so what we're not gonna do in this video is recap and rehash all the stuff in the case, all right? If you wanna get brought up to speed on what's happened, I've got two other videos that you can watch. Um, what we're gonna do here is basically start where we left off in the last video, okay? So real quick synopsis of where we left off. Um, all of the felony charges had been reduced. Some of the charges had been completely removed and we're basically waiting to see what was gonna happen in the hearing this week, all right? So that preliminary hearing has happened and the culmination of that basically is that the prosecutor has stated that they are potentially um, willing to drop the criminal protection order against Mike, which would allow him to go back to work, potentially have his guns, things like that, once they see evidence of the injured wrist, okay? What has transpired since, all right? So at this point in the proceedings, it appears that there is evidence that demonstrates that there is no broken wrist, no fractures, no hairline fractures, no soft tissue damage, and um, no injury whatsoever to the wrist. Wow, right? Uh, so how does something like this happen, you know? Uh, and all of the Mike Glover haters out there, if you look at the comments section, um, this is the smoking gun they've attached themselves to. Like, well, it doesn't matter if Mike and girlfriend both said there was no domestic violence because somehow the wrist got broken, so Mike must have done it. Well, turns out there was no broken wrist. So that argument is out the window, okay? So again, how does something like this happen then? Well, allegedly what happened is the police officer who takes the report at the hospital uh, takes the statement as gospel, does not check with the doctor to confirm, and so it was a suspected break in the wrist, which obviously wasn't wrote that way in the police report, um, and now the evidence shows that there is no broken wrist, so big whoopsie, right? Um, now, what does that ultimately mean, okay? Well, at this point, both witnesses and both people um, in the situation have in their official statements that there was no domestic violence or physical altercation, okay? We know the door wasn't actually broken down off the hinges, like it was stated in the police report, and we know now that the physical violence of a wrist break also did not happen. So what does that mean? While maybe not in the court system yet, it means Mike's exonerated from domestic violence, okay? Both parties say there was none. There's no injuries whatsoever to either person. What it looks like is the state has interjected itself into a situation that it shouldn't have and made some whoopsies along the way, okay? So obviously, great news uh, for Mike, for his family. Anytime it turns out the evidence shows there was no actual domestic violence or physical injuries, that's always a win for all parties involved, right? So what potentially happens from here, okay? We don't know uh, at the moment, but again, there is there is nothing for the prosecutor to take to a jury to try to convict Mike of domestic violence now. It's all gone. So again, the story is pretty much over. I would expect um, that all charges are dropped with this new finding. Um, you know, if the state decides it has to get him for something because they did all this work, you know, maybe we see them try to plea down to a domestic disturbance charge or something of like that, but I, I doubt even that, you know, and now with this, um, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know, but if it were me, I could imagine um, I'd be looking at filing a very hefty civil lawsuit um, in response to the way things have been treated here. Okay, but who knows? We'll see what happens. So, again, guys, there's nothing left to the story, right? Um, Mike's name's essentially cleared, and hopefully we see him back in action soon. So. Hope you guys enjoy that update and uh, yeah, take care.